Hello! The next couple of hair tutorials I'm going to be doing, well, big tutorials really, um, <laughs> are going to be uh, featuring up styles that you can do with your twin tail wigs. I'm going to start off with my base wig, and I'm pulling this back so you can see how to do it on a short base wig, and then I'll incorporate the longer bits later if you have a longer base wig. These styles are all going to work very, very well with a short base wig. Um, up styles really work very well because they conceal the fact that it's, that it's short and back. Um, and this first style I'm going to be doing is, I think, kind of gothic-y flavored. It's really based on the artwork of Yo, who um, draws a lot of sort of linear, uh, monochromatic art that is really amazing. A lot of gothic styles, but they've also done the artwork for the Indies brand Princess Doll. But the, one of the big features of a lot of their artwork is, I'm sorry, I don't know if it's a man or a woman. Um, <laughs> Uh, they do a lot of um, asymmetrical styles. So this first one is going to be an asymmetrical style that is going to uh, use both of our claw clips. Which I've got mine right here. And I've got the ponytail back so you can see how to do it on a short bake first. And uh, one recommendation I'm going to make if you're going to work a lot with the claw clips on a foam head is to inside the foam head you can put in your wig cap between the foam head and the um, wig. If you have a nylon wig cap, the kind that just looks like a, a pantyhose, you can even just use the toe of a pantyhose or uh, well, any part of it, just tie off one end and pop it over your wig head. It'll help um, from having the little clippy bits uh, make little gouges on the styrofoam, so you'll preserve your wig head, which they're cheap, but you don't really want to have them with not taking out of it. Uh, to start this off, we're going to put these in. And again, you, you're going to start with um, on top of the head, we're going to have an asymmetrical. So you want to put one on the top and one on the side. So for the top one, I'm going to start on this side here. And you want to put that just off to the side. Okay. Make sure it clips in firmly. And you'll see it, it cascades down one side. And then for the other one, we're going to put this um, just, we're actually going to put it actually a bit before, <laughs> a bit behind the ear here. And that's going to, you know, your ear would be right here. So make sure you can put that in. And there we go. For this now, since we've got the basic, we're going to uh, go ahead and put some more little uplifts in this. Um, for this, we're going to start with the lower portion, and you're going to just take a small bit of this, and I'm just going to separate this down. Okay. And you'll want to just lightly brush each part as you separate it, because you want it to look fairly smooth. The nice thing about this is it looks quite impressive but you don't have to use any hairspray uh, unless it's going to be like a windy day and you want to go ahead and apply some. So we're just going to twist these up and have them sitting to the front and you'll need some hairpins for this. Let's do two or three coming from the bottom. And just sitting from different directions. And then on the top part, I'm going to make this look a little bit more naturally styled, not just like you put on a big clip. So I want to section out a couple bits here. I'm going to just pull some of them over. Uh, 
take this large one from the front. The main point of this is you want to conceal the large bump of the clip because you can see that the clip well, sets on pretty firmly on the top, but it creates an unnatural bump. And you want to just hide that by taking some curls and over there. Into the front and over. That one's garbled. Okay. And there you go. And then we'll come over here and just brush out these remaining ones into slightly more defined curls. You just want to make sure none of the wefting is visible on your claw clips. Um, it's not too visible and it's a pretty close color of the mesh underneath, but sometimes when you lift up a whole weft, you'll see a little gap. Okay, and the bangs in the front. So that's the finished style if you want to uh, just do it with the short base wig. If you're working with a long base wig, here's a time to integrate the longer bits. I just got it all down the back. And you want to split this in half just like half the clock lips are in. And for the half over the side of the up, we're gonna just move the ponytail over slightly and lift with a twist. And that's just gonna allow it to look extra flowy down the back. I like it, you'll use a thicker clip for this because it is more hair. Okay. I need a couple of pins as well. brush some of the sections to make more defined curls. And then for this other section, which is the other half of the longer base width, so I'm just going to leave this down on the front by taking some of the front pieces and pulling them back. So it looks like it might all have been styled at one. So that small front piece that we just wrapped underneath the wig is going to come up and just pin up here. So that makes it look more like it's all styled from one wig. So you can see that the, the uh, little swoosh right here. And I'll have, of course, pictures on my blog of it all finished. I know sometimes the black on black is hard to see here. This can really be decorated, embellished, with quite a lot of things. You can go from things like flower clips. Um, so if it does have some sort of small depressions, you can put in a lot of different flowers. My favorite one for this, because I think it's a very over-the-top style and can uh, take a little bit of drama, is uh, some of these little pretty feather sprays. I got this at just the craft store. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to use them for in a crafty way, but they work really good on your hair. And they're really nice because you can just slide a pin down the little half moon section and it clips in perfectly. So you can put this in in various ways. It can go, I'm going to set mine here from the top. So it sort of slides off the top here and makes a little extra asymmetry in there. I think that's fun. It's a nice sort of tonal detail with the darker wig. Um, and uh, that's the whole style pretty much. It's really a uh, very decadent looking, I think, and very fun. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.